warning in effect earlier for that area. Now we're looking at big time storms, severe thunderstorm warning in effect near Omaha, and we've got severe thunderstorms bearing through South Dakota as well as Minnesota. This particular storm system we've been following for the past few hours, it caused considerable damage in Murray County and it had a history of producing a tornado. Tornado warning still in effect with that particular storm cell over Renville County. A farm was reportedly destroyed, windows blown out, large damaging hail and the lot. We will definitely keep you posted as far as that particular storm cell is concerned and we'll also be bringing you live updates throughout the evening. We have a crew near Omaha, and we'll try and go back to them later tonight. Stay tuned. Coming up, a look at your Mike Seidel along with Jill Brown as we continue to focus our weather coverage this evening out on the Plain States where we've had numerous tornadoes touching down. As you can see, the high risk area in the darker red uh, tornado watches in many of those areas in the Plains in the upper Midwest. This watch continues until 3 a.m. for Minnesota, extreme eastern sections of South Dakota. And other watches as we head farther south into Nebraska and Iowa, this watch just issued, including most of the state of Iowa, until 5 a.m. Central Daylight Time and down in extreme southeastern Nebraska, this watch in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time. The reason we're having so many tornadoes is the atmospheric conditions are just perfect. We've got to get a lot of ingredients, warm, moist Gulf air coming out of the lower latitudes. We've got that. We've also got a very strong jet stream coming out of the northwest. One of the things we also look for is wind shear. Now we all know wind is composed of two components, not only speed but direction. We've got uh, wind shear with direction, we've got wind shear with speed, meaning at different heights the speed and the direction changes quite dramatically. At the surface the winds coming out of the south and southeast, up around 5,000 feet winds out of the south and southwest, and up at the jet stream level 30 to 40,000 feet winds are blowing out of the west at about 120 miles an hour. Now when you get uh, varying wind speeds at different heights, we get a motion like this. The wind's blowing faster here, slower here. We get a spinning motion. There's a term we uh, often look at called the tilting term. Kind of hard to get into here on the air, but what happens, it takes a spinning motion and flips it over like this, and that can lead to tornadic development. Also, we have directional shear. Notice the wind directions at different uh, areas of the country coming in from different directions. And as a result, as you can well imagine, it also creates a spinning motion like this, a cyclonic spinning motion and we can get tornadoes spinning up. So there are a lot of ingredients forming and leading to tornadoes and that's uh, what's going on in portions of the plains in the upper Midwest during the afternoon and it's likely we're going to see some rough weather right on through this evening. We can check out the uh, satellite photo. We can watch the storms blow up explosively. Notice the main storm in the upper levels is still back here. We've been dealing with that now for four or five days. The energy though is rotating around the base of the storm lifting the atmosphere, a lot of moisture coming out of the Gulf of Mexico. Dew points are high, just meaning the air is uh, very moist, very humid, a lot of energy in that moisture. And we're seeing big storms blossoming through the afternoon and evening hours right out here, portions of Nebraska, the Dakotas, and southwestern sections of Minnesota. We'll be watching that area right on through this evening. That's our high risk area. Meanwhile, down to the south, we don't have anything happening. The air is stable, nothing to really lift it. And that's why things are very quiet down in Texas and Oklahoma at this point. Also, some additional showers and thunderstorms down in Florida, some heavy rainfalls down there around Miami. They picked up over an inch of rain so far today. Let's uh, focus our coverage uh, continuing right now out through the Plain States. We'll check in on the main radar and you can see some tremendous storms. The reds and oranges indicating the heaviest rainfalls. We've had wind gusts to 80 miles an hour. Numerous tornadoes from these storms, especially this storm right here in Renville County. It's had a history of producing tornadoes as it's been moving northeast at around 20 to 25 miles an hour. More storms too. Now just developing north of Omaha. Um, heavy weather there. That one blossomed in about 45 minutes time. So the atmosphere is ripe for thunderstorms to continue to fire up and possibly produce tornadoes right on through uh, this evening. There they go, racing off to the northeast, 20 to 25 miles an hour. We can zoom in just a bit closer, and the flashing lights indicating the strongest storms. Brookings over towards Watertown. This area, uh, main problem has been flooding too, flash flooding with so much rain coming down and the storms continuing to move right over the same area which has gotten all that rain. We'll keep you posted as the uh, weather continues to be very rough out through that part of the country. In the coming days, we'll be watching the severe weather head even at western sections of Iowa. This is Omaha and Des Moines moving off to the northeast at 25 miles an hour. Now earlier, our crew with Jeff Morrow was located right here 
in Burke County in uh, extreme eastern sections of Nebraska. We can show you the video. They shot some of these clouds in the storm developing very quickly. Now this is not the tornadic storm, but notice those towering cauliflower structures to the cumulus clouds billowing upwards. And these storms came out of nowhere. Jeff said there were no clouds in the skies. And then 45 minutes later, 30 to 45 minutes later, tremendous outgrowths of uh, cumulus clouds, anvil clouds, and those are leading to the tornadoes across that area this afternoon and this evening. Once again, Harrison Ga County, uh, uh, Iowa, a tornado on the ground, and it's moving northeast at 25 to 30 miles an hour. More storms, too. Some problems out of this storm in Renville County, right here in Minnesota. A tornado warning continues there. That storm has had a uh, history of producing tornadoes. It's also moving off to the northeast at 25 miles an hour. And as you can plainly see, more heavy rains in the southwestern sections of South Dakota, southeastern sections. We'll follow the situation through the